looks like he's uh, just about to die, probably. There's not much food under the rocks here while he looks after the eggs, so he is starving himself. He actually comes in to Crescent Beach in May and June, and he'll start to hum to attract a female, and she will come in and lay her eggs while he stays here and he actually protects the eggs. So then the female shall leave and another male will come in called a sneaker male. He's about one third the size of the parental male. He will also fertilize some of the eggs but he's not going to stay like the parental male. He's also going to leave and the parental male is left. Now a lot of people think that these fish need to be rescued when they find them under the rocks because there's not a lot of water for them. These fish have gills so they can breathe through the water. They also can breathe through their skin, so they're okay with just a little bit of water. So we want to keep them where they are with their eggs. We don't want to throw them back into the open ocean where they can be picked off by a bird. And lots of the time you'll see a hole in the chest of a midshipman right underneath on its kind of belly area. And that means that a, gro a crow has come in and taken the heart and liver and left the rest of the fish because that's where all the good protein is. So now we'll probably put the rock back on top, carefully, right where it goes. Not Don't want to squish. squish anything. There we go.